ये सिलो हम चाउस टुडे वांट टू मेक अ वीडियो अबाउट स्मार्टफोन में डबल कंपोनेंट्स यू नो व्हेन आई वाज स्टार्टिंग अप दिस द फैक्ट आई वेंट स्कूल एंड लर्निंग एवरीथिंग आई ऑलवेज जस्ट वांडर what are these tiny stuff like this one what are they and what do they do you know so we just looked around and we couldn't actually figure out what are they what do they do you know so this is a motherboard for a techno t9 copy it's a working motherboard Actually, I've been here going through it and trying to figure out each company, trying to take some little measurements. Then I actually thought about making a video. So this is a working motherboard, but I want to demonstrate everything using this one. This is a Tecno Camel 11. So we are going to open this phone, check every component on its motherboard, get to know their function. And actually test them using a multimeter to see in case you have a, a phone with a fault how do you know that this component is fault or is working you know mm. so it's it's open it quickly you see if you actually have an already device component is easier for you to fix a motherboard the best thing is oh most of these dictation is use the same mechanism it just that phones have got integrated components they are very small but they are the same actually the same mechanism used on phones the same on laptops It's the same on hoofers they are the same components just that these ones are small and the others are bigger and much basically these ones are integrated when i say integrated it is like they compact more than one component in one chip mm. so a simple look at this is a common illusion this is the battery i never want to even know it these are the cameras and these are the connection of the battery these are the connection terminal this cable here this is for the network actually if you have a phone when network bars are small or on and off it shows one bar or two three then it goes off one bar it is, you should always check this cable yes you should if this cable is not connected here your phone will pick up the name of the network if it say it and t or it there it will show but the bars will be off and on so you check here and you check down here so here is where it is they call a booster this is the booster let me actually show you first here is fun doesn't have more all those screws because I use it for auto demonstration in my lessons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see this is the speaker. Eh? The speaker is connected here. And this phone actually uses the flame of the phone as the tower no actually no towers are here and you know you see this one this is the tower can you see it let me bring up mm, this is the tower these two Uh, antennas they attach here when you close the phone and this is the tower it's like the antenna i think the tower you no know, the tower is this but this is the plate can i call it a 
Maybe. You see radios, our radios just have that long aluminium cable. Eh? So this is the one in the phone. So this, if actually, if, even if this cable is connected well from here up to here, but when it's not connected here, the network will be off and on. Yes? Okay. So let's pop out the motherboard now and get to, to understand some of these components. Hmm? Okay, so let's put this aside. Let's concentrate on this. Um, you see, this one is good. On a new motherboard, you find that these plates are already still attached to the board. There are some metal plates that cover these components. The way you saw this one, here, like this. But this one all the plates are off. It's good. We can actually have a clear view of all the components. The same this side. We moved all these plates. So let's move these cameras. And put them aside. I'm going to first show you the these big components. Now when you look here. Mm, you see this guy mm, this guy is there this is called a proximity sensor <coughs> it is always on every phone and the function of this guy is whenever you're making a call this is the guy that turns off the screen light when you put it on here. Actually, some people have issues when, say, when my phone calls, when I make a phone, my screen goes dark. So when someone calls, my screen goes dark, I can't even receive. So this is the sensor. Usually, if you put something to obstruct these lenses, it turns off the screen light. So this is the proximity sensor. This is just an LED indicator, like for charging, you know, that light on top. Mm. So, these phones are actually categorized in four ways. There is always a network section. There is always a, a power check section. There is always a LED and charging section, screen light. Then there is always a processor and and flash memory section. So here, as you've seen, this section had its own plate, and these are the boundaries. You see, mm. and this one has got two big chips. These chips, one is a processor, and this is the processor. This one is the some people call the NAND flash or the memory chip. This guy is where you know, your family, your phone, your pictures, your information is stored. Actually, if your phone does not flash or is, is um, brick 12 flashing, this is the guy you can change always, and your phone can flash again if you've programmed it. Now, there's something I wanted to show you. These, two, these chips have got tiny, tiny numbers on them. I'm trying to get the focus to see if you can see those numbers. But anyway, in my camera, it's not easier. I think you can have a look. Mm, you see those small, small ones? Actually, you can always get to know which kind of chip is this. If you can read those tiny numbers. 
okay so how to go details in that i'll do another video about identifying component numbers and ratings so this second small chip this is the power chip this is the guy that get the power from here from the battery and comes in here and this one is the one that converts all the power and distributes to all parts of the motherboard you can always identify the power eyes with big cups big cups big inductors this is an inductor 